Okay, so we've got three MSc programs. We've got a, a program in catalysis, one in chemical biology, and one in physical organic chemistry. And these reflect the research, some of the research strengths within the school. And um, each one of them, I think, uh, offers something slightly different. Um, so, in other words, you will think about where you're thinking your career might go in the future and choosing your MSc programme to match that. When it comes to moving on to postgraduate study, um, obviously a large amount of our research is very much um, of commercial or industrial relevance. A lot of our research is industry linked. Well, the MSc course in catalysis is uh, quite widely recognised by our external examiners as a very flexible and wide-ranging course in catalysis. So we not only do this kind of traditional areas of catalysis such as uh, surface science, uh, heterogeneous catalysis and homogeneous catalysis, but we also uh, split the course roughly into a third of biocatalysis, which is a kind of wide range, uh, very new and upcoming area of, of catalysis. So I'm doing a taught masters in catalysis, which is the study of catalysts. It's um, very important in, in industry as obviously they help reactions go faster. Um, it's very interesting, I've thoroughly enjoyed this year and it's been, it's much more applied than the chemistry degree itself. Um, it's organised that uh, the first two semesters are taught programme with lectures and uh, seminars and in the final part, in the last three months, uh, each student does a research project with uh, a supervisor but then can apply many of the techniques uh, he has learned during the uh, first month of the course. The tutorial aspect is really the part I enjoy most because it is, gives you the opportunity to actually tax your brain and then the lecturers are around to guide you. The, these lecturers have been really, really helpful. They made the course interesting, they get, they get up to date information and then they build your interest in the course. So when they are taking the course, you see you see in the light of what is happening in the industry and how you are applicable, what makes you fit to be able to do. It increases your confidence. I really enjoy the fact that I can see where what I'm learning is then used in the real world and its applications. I did um, a one-year MSc course in catalysis and what this course um, entailed was uh, catalysis through all the areas of chemistry, all the fields of chemistry. So we did like uh, biocatalysis, uh, more physical chemistry, catalysis, electrocatalysis, heterogeneous and homogeneous catalysis. So it was a broad range with the theme of with the theme of catalysis. And I did uh, this. This accumulated with a summer project um, where I did my MSc summer project was in electrochemistry of uh, fuel cells, and this led on to then my PhD. What we tend to find is they they quite a lot, large proportion of our students tend to follow on their project to do a PhD for the, the person they did their project for in the year before. But we've also had students who go off to industry afterwards, uh, go into, and all sorts of other areas as well, they've gone into teaching, they've gone into uh, other types of degree, medical degrees, all sorts. There's a very wide range of uh, future career prospects for students to come out of our MSc course. Eventually I'd quite like to go and work abroad, probably in the green chemistry sector. Um, I'm kind of thinking about maybe going to Brazil because um, I did an internship in China uh, two years ago which was brilliant and I really enjoyed being in a completely different environment and yet seeing how the science still kind of runs through as it is. Uh, well recently the university has made reciprocal agreements with uh, universities in other countries so now uh, it's also possible for the students to do their uh, part two research project in, in a uh, university abroad, uh, which is a great opportunity to explore how chemistry is done elsewhere. I was working in an analytical lab, so it was really good to get more experience on the machines and kind of use them in a more day-to-day -day, um, way. And it was, it's obviously very different working in university labs to then working in a real lab with different people, so it was a, very, it was a good learning curve um, and an exciting place to be as well. <laughs>